Holland Elementary's plans for an Aliana Lemon Memorial are coming together. She was a third grader there when she was tragically killed in December. Today, News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson found out more about the memorial. That's right. And while the plans are pretty much in place, the fundraising to pay for the, the memorial starts next week. It's actually a fundraiser that happens every year, but this year it has new meaning. It's just a good way for students to feel like that person hasn't been forgotten. Little Eliana Lemon was nine years old, a third grader at Holland Elementary School, when she was brutally killed just before Christmas last year. Prosecutors say her babysitter did it. Now her school is raising money for a memorial in her honor. This has been hard for students. It's been hard for the staff. Um, they want to find a way to remember their friend, this little girl who was tragically taken from us. Holland will plant two trees, one in front of the school and one in the nature area so students in her old classroom can see it. Eliana's picture and an art project she made will hang inside. Oh, I think it's awesome. I think it's great that they're going to have the kids involved in it. Those trees will stay there forever, you know, for her. Karen Hughes' granddaughter was friends and classmates with Eliana. It's been hard on her. It's been hard. I'm sure of all the kids. Hughes is also part of the group Justice for Aliana, an effort that started on Facebook to keep Aliana's memory alive. Bracelets remembering Aliana are raising money for groups that work to stop child abuse. And a balloon launch planned for next month will celebrate what would have been Aliana's 10th birthday. As much as we can do, you know, for Aliana, that's our goal. We, we want to support her in the courts. We want to, I guess, be her voice. And planning memorials can also help those who knew her, like Hugh's granddaughter, heal. She wears a bracelet, she keeps that on. And so the, another reason for the balloon release, to make it a happy time. Students and staff at Holland are asked to donate a dollar next week or whatever they can afford. Any money left after buying the trees will go to the Riley Children's Foundation. And anyone in the community can also contribute. Just send the donations to Holland. Okay, thanks, Alyssa. Yeah.